out of bees in an apartment uh, siding underneath that siding I'll probably have to saw some wood away too all right see what I'm dealing with here and then you can see this is all backed up to a bunch of orange groves in Lake Wells Florida right in the middle of orange grove country All right, let's get into it. And I'm about to get my power saw and cut through that. I wish I had one of those little multi-tools, but I don't have one yet. So I'm gonna saw open that plywood and uh, see what's behind there and how big it is. Uh, the spot where the bees are. There's a wall there wall there, a roof there. Hopefully they're just confined to this little one area. That looks like new comb, but there's no telling what's in the back. Here, let's pull this insulation out and see what we have going. Time to crank up my vacuum cleaner here. Time to start vacuuming. This is the only space I've seen so far. I've already cut all this. All it's been is honey and pollen, or nectar and pollen. I hadn't even seen any capped honey or brood. And uh, they can't tell me for sure how long it's been here, maybe a month or two, but my God, I should have already seen brood by now. So um, I'm gonna start uh, vacuuming the rest of these. And then I'm gonna start checking into these other uh, sides of the walls. I'm going to cut into them just to make sure there's no adjacent comb and beside these other uh, boards. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to vacuum those up. There's no more comb left in here. But, yeah, again, no brood yet. So I may have to treat this like a swarm if I don't find any brood. And, uh, also, I usually, a lot of times I vacuum up the queen so, right now, it looks like some of these bees are clustered on the outside, which is always a good sign that the queen may be in the vacuum bucket. So, I'll check for that later. Pretty full buckets of bees here. There's a few bees clustering on that one, but look at that. I think the queen's on that side of the bucket, too, because it's funny, none of the other screens have many bees on them. That one has a few. But I bet you anything the queen's probably right there if I open it up and really search for her. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. This I may treat this uh, batch of bees like a swarm and just bring them home in the uh, vacuum buckets. Uh, we'll see. Um, so uh, I got everything out of here. I even sprayed beak in there to regulars out that I couldn't vacuum. 
But what I'm going to do is get a hole saw and uh, cut holes in these adjacent, uh, uh, on the other side of these walls and see if there's any bees in there. I don't think there is, but I'm, I'm going to make sure without sawing the whole board off. Game plan. Uh, I think it's like a, about a 95 to 100 percent chance the queen is in that vacuum bucket right there. I doubt she's in that one, but look at that. That's a pretty good telltale sign. So what I'm going to do is not even worry about this hive. It's not doing. I, I didn't have any comb that I could uh, salvage as far as uh, besides this nectar comb I'll bring home. Um, so I cut a hole in that other side and there's no bees in there. So I think that was the only space they were in. So what I'm going to do is clean this box out and that's what this big box I have for is if I can't contain all the bees in the hive for whatever reason. I'm just going to put the back, vacuum buckets in there, wait till nightfall, till all the bees go in there, tape them up and bring them home and treat them like a swarm. When I get home I'll put them in whatever hive. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let me clean this box out right here of miscellaneous stuff, and uh, I'll put the vacuum buckets in there and just wait a couple of hours. Box of bees to go. For some reason, they were clustered on that cooler, too, where I was putting the honey, but I think it's because I had my queen clip near it, and they probably smelled the queen, past queens that were in the clip. But I really think the queen's in that bucket. I put my hive in there too because uh, I didn't feel like dumping a bunch of stragglers out of there. So I can lift it all and put it all in the van at one time. But I need to put that vacuum bucket in there too once they all come in here in this box for the night. So yeah, I'm having to do it like this because um, I really don't feel like searching for that queen, you know, and putting her in the hive and having them go in the hive and seal up the hive. I might as well just have everybody attracted to this box and just seal up the box and go home and I'll deal with it at home. It's easier to seal up this box than one of those hives. My, the top bar hive. Plus, I don't want them building comb on the uh, cutout uh, uh, hardware cloth I have on there. I want. To, I'm going to put new top bars in there for them to build on. Actually, I've been to these apartments once before, back several months ago, in the uh, last this past summer. This is the other side of the complex, though. pretty much nightfall here and uh, most of the bees are in the box they're not flying around their old home anymore plus I bee quicked it there's like one or two stragglers all of them are gone from in there None in there. So it's about time to pack up the box and go home. I'm open up this box and transfer all these bees from the vacuum buckets and that are in the box into a hive. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, but 
we'll see what happens. We're getting some of their nectar and pollen I pulled out of their hive, putting it in the new one. old comb that the queen can lay in I'm going to put in there. Let's see if I can't find that queen. Yes. I'm going to get them all poured in this hive and then I'm going to look for the queen on a comb a little bit later. It's kind of like a needle in a haystack right now.
pretty much a swarm is what it is. There was no established brood or anything like that, or eggs. It was just a brand new colony I pulled out that had some uh, nectar and pollen. So, um, I'm assuming the queen's in there, but I'll look for her in a little bit. I put a frame of uh, eggs and larvae, real young eggs and larvae from another strong hive I have into here. So if they don't have a queen, they'll raise another one. And I'll keep an eye on it to make sure. But other than that, um, <laughs> I'll probably have to put them in a bigger hive soon also. But I better get to building that.